Uh, well, I work out. Yeah, I like to go to the gym, uh, especially before uh, I go, uh, say about six hours before I go on patrol because it keeps me, it gets me focused. You know, I don't want, I, I don't like being, I don't like my memory being jogged with a bunch of non-important things. So when, uh, working out and uh, is another way that I use to keep my mind uh, focused on what I got to do. All right, this morning uh, we had to wake up at 06, which uh, which was an hour, between an hour, hour and a half before we DFL out to the Lower Shore Bazaar. Uh, this morning I woke up my Marines. Uh, they got dressed, uh, sh uh, showered, you know, shaved, did their normal uh, morning routine. Then about half an hour before we had to depart, I went ahead and had my guys gear up. Every half an hour before we do uh, depart friendly lines, as whether it's a patrol uh, dismounted or mounted, you do PCCs, PCIs, and you know, make sure your Marines have the proper gear for their uh, for the mission, which is what we did before we uh, departed out friendly lines. Uh, around 0640, uh, we had made movement to the uh, clearing barrels to go condition one, you know, make uh, weapons ready so that everybody does. Uh, combat uh, uh, rule civilians walking around he would talk to him get to know him you know ask him what his job was what he he where he lived what uh, what does he need help on and uh, questions like that that was that would help out and that was towards the operation and our margin as a patrol leader my job is to get the Marines together, get a roster set up for who's who's going and who's not. That's including the manifest, uh, getting their information, like their last four, blood type, uh, uh, rank, last name, and first name. And that's with, that's with everybody that goes out with us just for 100% uh, accountability. Uh, we make sure that the, the personnel or the attachments that come along with us, we have their unit that's in charge of them, just in case something does happen. Another thing I always do is uh, planning a route or planning for a patrol is create a uh, uh, warning order, which uh, which I always pass to the Marines the night before. Normally, it's uh, 24 hours prior, or depending on how long we have uh, uh, as far as develop for develop a time before that mission, and then I will pass it to my Marines. Uh, they will know what to bring, uh, equipment. They will know who's coming, who uh, attachments, who, what hires uh, or VIPs that you, as you would say, who's coming along to pay, to pay special attention to. Because they because obviously as a jump section, your job is to protect the hires, and they're the ones who are set to pace for the uh, main mission of the battalion or regiment. Uh, the next thing that I do is uh, PCs, PCIs, pre-combat inspections, pre-combat checks. Now with those that uh, I, I have my VCs that go out with me, they expect their Marines, and then I expect.